Ciao, what is up you guys? Could I just take five minutes to talk about periods? And there goes the male audience. But seriously, I think every girl can agree with me when I say periods freaking suck. I mean, every week for a month, you gotta wear a diaper, it hurts, it's weird, your hormones are everywhere, and honestly, it just sucks to bleed out of your vagina. And don't even get me started on the social aspect of it all. Now, is it just me, or whenever I gotta, you know, change the thing, I go into the washroom, hope that no one else is around, and if there is one person, I wait until they flush before I even go... Fresh. Did I just mimic how to change a pad in the most retarded way? Yes. Well, anyways. Every girl experiences their period in a different way from another one, so I thought I would tell you guys the types of girls on their periods. Again, goodbye male audience. Number one, the sympathy seeker. Now this is the girl who always blames everything on their period. They want sympathy, they want your attention, they want someone to understand what they're going through, and you know why? Because I'm on my period. Hey, why aren't you doing gym? I'm on my period. Why are you being such an ass? It's because I'm on my period. Why did you steal a car? I was craving things because I'm on my period. There was actually this girl I knew who told this guy, You have to be nice to me because I'm on my period. Can't make this ish up, these girls be cray. Number two, the aliens. Have you guys ever seen Alien vs. Predator? Cause I watched it recently, and if you haven't, you should at least know this scene. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, that is how these girls feel. Now the reason I call these girls aliens is because in the movie, the aliens kind of are given birth that way. They, they have this weird crab, spider, vagina thing go on their face and then aliens go out of their chest and um, that's how girls feel like sometimes. Yes, sometimes girls feel like there are aliens coming out of their chest. That is not what I mean. I just mean it freaking hurts for those girls. Yeah, sure, everyone gets that occasional cramp or headache or sometimes even a migraine, but these girls, these aliens, they have it rough. Like, it could be way worse. So in seventh grade, I was eavesdropping in the washroom, like I always am, when I overhear this conversation. Why weren't you here last week? Eh, I was on my period. You weren't here for a week because of your period? Yeah, well, mine are really bad. Like, my stomach hurts so much to a point where I can't even move. My head, it just hurts to think. And all I can really do is lie in bed and sleep because everything else just hurts so much when I'm on my period. Wow. It really sucks. Wanna talk about boys? <laughs> yeah. There are fuck ton of squirrels. Okay, ignoring the squirrels. It is like an abusive relationship between a girl and her own ovaries. Number three, the lucky star. These girls experience no cramps, no headaches, no migraines, no nothing except blood. These are the girls who also never talk about their periods, never talk about periods, and just never want to mention the B word in the first place. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, guys probably like these girls more because they don't have to complain constantly about cramps and headaches and so on and forth. So, honestly, these lucky stars are like the golden gate bridge of girls. So an honest message from me to you. Screw you. Number four, the animals. <laughs> My attempt at a mating call. Now there's only one word to describe these girls. Thirsty. When it's their time of the month, it is mating season. Now it would be great for the guys if the girl's cute and she's all cuddly and canoodly and touchy and feely and basically um, on your dick. But for other girls, it's kind of just like, Granted, there are a lot of girls who are just naturally touchy, feely, mushy, and I guess nice, but um, the ones who are actually on their period will say things like this. I wish I had a boyfriend <sighs> with best friends. You know, I'm actually really dirty when you get to know me. 
Yeah, when the week is up, you say penis and they cringe. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Oh my god. Stop <laughs> Finally, we have the PMSer. This is the scariest thing you're ever going to meet. They are the human embodiments of anger, fear, sadness, melancholy, horror. They, they are living nightmares. And it doesn't stop there. You thought they had it bad? If you know one, you're a dead man. But the worst part of it is, we're all PMSers. So sleep well tonight, children. For tomorrow, we hunt. Squaw! I, I just, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> so that was it for me this week. Which period personality are you? Assuming you're a girl and you're still watching. And if you're a guy and you're still watching, congrats to you. Which period personality is your sister or friends or other female acquaintances? I'd really like to know. I've got big plans for the next two weeks and I can't wait to share it with you. So stay tuned for next week. Thanks for watching and Coda. Mm. I like big dummies and I cannot lie. These other guys, num 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 num